Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, February 28th, 2016, and this video is a look at the angular size of the Sun from a flat Earth viewpoint. Now, according to flat Earth theory, the Sun is at a height of about 3,000 miles above the flat Earth, and the diameter of the Sun is, I'm told, 32 miles in diameter. Now, as any child knows, when an object is closer to you, it appears to be bigger than when it is further away from you, and it looks smaller. So what I did was I took my video camera and put a number 12 welding lens across the front of the camera and went out and filmed the sun with the optical zoom at the full 37 times uh, zoom as I filmed the sun. So let's have a look at those images that I took. Here is the first one. This was taken at 7.44 a.m. New Zealand Daylight Saving Time on February the 12th, 2016, when the sun was at 11 degrees altitude angle. The next image I took was at 10.52 a.m., same day when the sun was at 47 degrees angle altitude. And then the final image I took at 1.30 p.m. on the same day when the sun was at its highest point in the sky, which was 66 degrees uh, angle altitude. Um, and as we can see when we flip between the, the images, the angular size of the sun is exactly the same. Now I've filmed this with exactly the same amount of zoom. It was on the full 37 times optical zoom on the camera and we see that the angular size is exactly the same. I've also provided some screenshots here of the information of the position of the Sun at that time and on that date from Starry Night Pro. I'll provide a link in the description area and you can go directly to these images to take a closer look. These are on my Facebook page, but if you're not a Facebook uh, member, it's no problem because the link that I will post is a public link, so anybody should be able to see these images. Now here is a comparison that I put together of the three images of the sun and the relative angle using a protractor. Um, so you can see there 11 degrees, 47 degrees and 66 degrees. So we should expect that when the sun was further away, it should have been a lot smaller than when it was 66 degrees angle altitude above me. Uh, as I say, any child knows that an object that is further away is smaller than an object that is much closer. Um, but obviously we see that the angular size of the sun is exactly the same. Now, this calculator uh, was kindly uh, created by uh, Mick West from Metabunk and this shows the angular size of the Sun at the different angles based on the flat Earth model. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we've got the, the height of the Sun is 3,000 miles, the diameter of the Sun is 32 miles, and we can see our viewing angle here. Now this is interactive, you can um, change the height and the angle and so on. You can even drag the Sun around to wherever you want to put it for viewing. I'm just going to leave it over here and uh, we can drag the angle of the Sun here by dragging this point and we can see that the angular size of the Sun over on the left hand side of my screen there actually changes. It's um, smaller when the Sun is further away as we should expect and it is larger. It's largest of course when the Sun is directly overhead at 90 degrees. So let's check the angles that uh, I was viewing the, the sun at, uh, 11 degrees, so I've got it at about 11.5 degrees there, at 47 degrees, and at 66 degrees. So there's the comparison looking over on the left hand side at the angular size of the sun and how the angular size should change depending on how close the Sun is to us at the very at the varying angles. So there we have it, no difference in the angular size of the Sun regardless of the distance from the observer. 
and this is further evidence that the Earth is not flat and that the flat Earth model does not work in practice. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.